Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion and to the realm of Oblivion. As you can see, I've discovered a portal to Oblivion. I did say last time that I was going to meet you either in Skingrad if I didn't find anything or inside anything that I found to be interesting while going down south from the Oblivion Highlands. And as it turns out, there was in fact an Oblivion Gate. So, what have we got? Um, there was a, I think either a Shivili, Machinas, or Valkinas, uh, one of the armored Daedra, uh, standing behind that rock. And for the sake of making this intro, I sh uh, killed him when I entered. Also because I, mm, I think you can save when enemies are nearby, but eh. hmm. So that's the tower. Okay, turrets. Now if we could get mines that don't work, that would be just swell. There's your flesh part. Well, I don't want to take my chances with the mines. That's a spittle stick going off. Retaliation of blood. Ice. Uh, okay. Let's try, try one. So apparently, it seems that the mines have sort of glitched out. Because normally this would definitely not be something that you could do. It doesn't give you anything, but I mean, when they don't do any damage to you. In my case, I'm not wasting ammo on clearing them. But at least there's that. There's a lot of them, isn't there? You're going to throw a fireball at me. Try not to go into summonings if you're not going to run away. Either summon and run away, you're a warm. Why not use that then? Rather than your... The only thing that summoning did good for him was uh, that it gave him a temporary meat shield. That's it. Just a regular old claim. Unfortunately, the turrets aren't glitched out, so those are still. Whoa! Was that the spell absorption? Was that the spell absorption going off there? Because if that's the case, then I've definitely made the right choice in terms of. Oh, I can just go around. Uh, then I definitely made the right choice in terms of Nicholas's. Ow! Yeah, I mean, it does absorb something. Not all, though. And they work off of proximity, not on visual, because it's a turret, it doesn't have eyes. So was that another fire, or is that another... That's another portal to oblivion. But... Wouldn't that imply that... Or implicate that it leads to another place entirely? Uh, well, I'm not going to enter because I don't know where I will land, and that's going to definitely mi mess up my planning. I think there's a cave down here. So 
no, I saw that CBI and am I stuck? wasn't. So the cave is definitely the, oh, the rough, the most interesting right now. More turrets, well one. One is fine because that is fairly easy to avoid. I say it, oh, and then there's two. Great! You can bait them to shoot upwards. You look at it. Because obviously even though they have uh, a weak damage. Ow! Oh, that didn't make sure. That was just out of range. Ow! That one I was. Okay. Well, it's probably a good thing that we don't have to worry about the mines, but in honesty, we get the fur worrying about them because my nature is to be cautious, and if something is making itself too easy. Oh, these teeth barriers actually don't get ow. Ah. Could it be that the aforementioned um, cave leads out to here? I think there's a good possibility. So that should lead back to where the other two things were. Okay, never tons. Enemy right in my face? No. Well, that's a bit for me to complain then. Uh, and we descend. Drunken hippo or something like that. Oh, there was nothing else back here. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Show down further. Good. So one way that means that we are less than likely. Lava pools! Oh my god. Well, at least you didn't try summoning. Ooh, marking skill increased. That's nice. At least she didn't try to summon a creature.
So despite of what this seems like, Christ, please, you don't actually take damage from walking in those uh, reddish areas. And despite the sound, I haven't, I haven't, don't think I've ever seen actual lava in these caves. That could really turn things around to a nasty. Ooh, back way. To a shibili. To death. In any order. Well, definitely not winning any beauty contests, that's for sure. That's a dead spider. Okay, so it is this way to go. Good, good, good. I like it when it all conjoins together like this. Makes it a whole lot easier to get around and to figure out where to go. actually does is that it is okay well now I've seen lava in these caves uh, the only thing that the mist does itself is that it obscures vision oh more of that well, come at me you dead with dopes arrow just for you could I lure them into going into the lava. They will take damage from it because un unless they are um, flame aphronox. You'd think that Daedra would have um, um, resistance to fire. They don't. Actually, you don't have a resistance to anything. They're just tough in that their hit pool is large, but apart from that, not really that powerful. I mean, yes, they have access to a powerful magic and such, but... Hmm. I suppose... It... Well, it is the first time that I've seen lava in a cave like this. Okay, local map. Okay, there is a way out. Uh... So... Looking at a map, it would be through... Up here, then somewhere. Uh, that doesn't help. Oh, it's up there. Wait, where does it lead? Where does it lead? Where? Oblivion Cave. So that's probably where the other cave is. connects with this one. Well, that means that it is unaccessible. I don't have well, my ath athletics and thus my jumps are pretty good, but they are not that high. Oh, no, that's acrobatics. Don't think anything has respawned, but rather be on the safe side of things here. Okay, well, to the tower it is. I'm not gonna bother going around the all the way back to get that uh... Well, hello! I think I missed you the first time. And you too. Hmm. Something. Now maybe I was just unattentive. That is a possibility. That's the way. Yeah, that's just a dead end with us. Eight or nine. So that actually, hmm, I don't know if it's the wrong lighting or what it is, but it looked more like regular daylight, rather than, you know, the light from a burning flaming hell. Okay, to the tower, which is right across from where we stand. Which means that this would be a relatively short. Uh, 
episode of Oblivion. Well, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, of course it's fine. Soon we can't raise our marksman skill anymore. That will definitely halt her. Let's just see. So, marksman. 86. A very close to a little bit blunt and armor. Armor comes sort of semi naturally as we. I believe it will get. It will, armor will get more once we start going more into close combat. Uh, so we are very close to another level in blunt. Well, closer than any of the others. Yeah. Nope, that's not what I wanted. If I can get the job on one of these guys. Like so. <laughs> For now. Ooh, you turned around. Can I can I keep coming you? Oh my god, I can. Ah! <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Okay, I'm um, You... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, have some enjoyment. The thing is about fighting Peter is that oftentimes they will use debilitating origins and spells that uh, lower your ability to defend yourself by lowering your offensive skills or lowering your magic air or lowering your strength so that you can't move. The latter is particularly uh, a problem. You know, if I spawn with a melee weapon in hand, I have a better chance of Taking out a foe who is right next to a door. Now what? Really? That was enough? Okay. I'm not entirely sure how that went down, but well, your mate over there didn't notice. Is he going this way around? Nope, he's just walking back and forth over there. That is fine. Ooh, there he is. Oh, please. That wasn't even a challenge, Potion of the Sea. Why would you ever use Potion of the Sea in the realm of oblivion? You're not walking on water, you're walking on lava. You're not doing that because you die. Really? Well, I don't particularly mind that so much. Doors. I remain completely still. You turn around. <laughs> Ooh, this paralyzes. Wait, 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 oh, you're running, eh? 
You run in. You run in. You'd be better running, mate. You'd be a lot better at running. He didn't even attack or do anything. He was just like, oh, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. And then they hurt him. Huh. You know, maybe I should have taken that course of danger. Could have helped out with uh, understanding what he was saying. Maybe he was just trying to be friendly. Huh? Oh. This guy's Feed me the Look, sure helped. Grand Ring of the Shadows. Oh, so that was why he was invisible. So, Chameleon is technically not invisible, but it's sort of the same thing. So, the uh, ordinance will likely just drop it. Sigilum Sanguis. Also known as where the Sigil Stone is at its center. Probably why it's named as it is. Anyone down? We ain't got something. So comedian isn't a full-on invisibility. As you can see, it's sort of like a flimmer flicker, but it does help you with not being detected. Oh, And my ring of retribution did the Nicholas of Swords. Woo! Reflect third throat from the top of that debara. Reflect a damage 33 points. Oh, that's nice! And fortified me! Definitely be using that once we're going after Umarium or whatever his name was. So that might drew the attention of two out of three. They're usually two lesser and then one big ugly one up top. At least that's usually how it is. So now we've definitely been in melee combat. So we should have items that need repairing. This is good because then we can um, repair our items, obviously, so they don't break. And we can hopefully spend a couple of repair hammers to not only improve our armor score, but also be a boon to our inventory score overall, if any of them breaks. The two that were stolen did, which is convenient. Oh, no, I was going to sell them anyway. Yeah. You are there? No, you don't live up there. Okay. Well, the good thing about taking out the minions like this is that... Actually, I think that's the first time I've been hit by that paralysis. Ha! Ah. Only took about uh, 26 levels and uh, God knows 150 episodes plus whatever it that happened. There's another punch over there. Definitely interesting. Also, if I go this way around, I can maybe spot where the nasty is up there. Looks like. Probably not that big. Ah, yeah. What even is this made of? Red jelly? Really? Just one dude now? Right, you don't need them. Ah. Unless they're planning an assault from Cyrodiil where they're walking up the Libyan Bay and looking at everybody and like, oh shit, well that's, that's a bad ass, we're gonna surrender. But I don't think they are that smart. Unless it's considered that Ocean of Seaborn is the highest tier of alchemy. But that seems unlikely. So we only spent about uh, 24 minutes doing this, 25, but that doesn't exactly break the record for shortest Oblivion episode yet, but, hmm. Well, it gives us time and we have quite plenty of quests, some are very easy to add in, others, eh, 
Eh, a bit less. Oh. Why is my quest marker not... Oh, it is, it is actually where it should be. Ugh, well we need to head a bit further north so we can see through this area. There might not be anything, but... So northeast, and then southeast. So more, more north to, for a start. Good! What? Oh, you... something in this area. It's too big to be without value. Oh, and a cat. Hmm. If we take the mine first, there is a slight, very slight chance that we can um, live upon. Then we can use, ooh, the two camps. Ooh, I can't decide. What? Oh, man. Or a marauder. Echo. I've heard of that before. Get it, cause... Why do you stop? I mean, you did hit me a couple of times, which is more than can be said about most people. Like the, like the boots. Yeah. Okay, so, bandits. Decent chance for loot. Echo mine. Hmm. Hmm. I suppose I could start walking around in heavy armor once my light armor skill is toppled off. Oh! Oh, nyam nyam! <laughs> Alright. Fellas. Uh, three doors. Well, two doors and a cave. Probably doesn't matter all that much, but uh, you know what? Let's let our dice let our dice decide that one. So I have once I have taken this one off. Uh, I have a D six. Almost ready. Didn't expect to use it. Well, <clears throat> on with the headphones once more, so I can hear what's in the game. Oh, I was about to say that uh, if the sound I've gone off, I've done something bad. Uh, yes, I have here a glow-in-the-dark alien head dice. So each eye is an alien head. Yeah, well. uh, one and two, we shall go through this open cave. Three and four, ooh, that's big uh, We shall go through the door straight ahead and five and six. It's the door to the left. So, sure, let's get our spells up and running. Of which skill trees, that's nice. Okay, here goes. That's a four. Straight ahead it is. Might be that one of these needs a key, but... Uh, Hello. Come on. Oh. Nothing personal, mate. Lock locks and treasure. That's a good start. Mm. 
So that one was here. Okay, well, five is closer. Five is closer to four than one or two. I've heard tell of some new kind of daedra that no one's ever seen before. In league with this Umaro creature, according to that prophet. Oh, no. Sure. Nothing I'd like to talk about. Heard any news from the other provinces? The news has not been good. I've heard it said that the Deidre have ah! overrun the town of Aldrun. The entire town has been destroyed. This is unbelievable. How come the gods let this happen? I like how the bandits just have average conversations, like people wandering about. One down there. It sounds like the two talking were down here because they didn't stop talking when she get, got hit. Or oh, they were just blatantly blind. Oh, I didn't care about this guy. Girl. Yeah. Bandits are not known to show much affection. Oh. It's proven. Turn the corner and... Okay, 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 okay. Could you turn around just a little bit? Oh, he can't see a spell. Where are you? I'm gone! Nothing to worry about, I guess. Just my eyes playing tricks on. Oh! Yes, tricks. <laughs> what? Well, oh! Glow in the dark. That's one way to be noticed in a dark cave. Wait, what? What? Did he literally throw his? Huh. Strange. Who's there? He was here a second ago. Yes. Yes. And now I'm gone. Ah! ah! <laughs> no! I did not know. No! 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 When did I pick two up? Yes. Ooh, a girl naked! <laughs> It wasn't torches. Anything on the iron arrows. La Belle. Hmm. Well, I suppose it makes sense that I'm that casting a spell makes a makes them notice you. But yeah. Well, we only got one place left to go for this place. We're blazing through it. I see you. Did you see me? Hmm. Perhaps not. Little exercise in lock picking, yes? Oh. 239 lock picks. I think I'll manage. Should we try and go... Yep, 
Well, clear enough. Speeding through this, well, we have two camps to go to. Both of them most likely with bandits. Am I even... No, there is another way out. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, I looked at this, didn't I? Yeah, it's pretty big vein. So that was... Oh, I didn't even look for the veins, but it's possible that there were none. I mean, there's that. I think I looked at that. What? A what? bow. Okay, I thought it was a small sheep. Not what I had expected to find, but it works. It works very well. Uh, we didn't gain a level. Surprise, surprise. Did I actually even gain a level in my mace blunt? No, I did not. I'm close to one in armor, I'm close to one in blunt. It is possible that those two leveling up alone would be enough to push me over to level 27. Let's see. That didn't do much, but... Oh! oh. Well, we're definitely going media for sure. So this pet camp scene, seems closer. Though we discovered the other one first, so let's go for that one first. There is some logic there. Maybe there isn't. I don't really care. Uh, is that a house? No, it's just an oddly shaped block. like it's fairly clear in this area. There's a small chance that there is something between this in this gap, but yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath. Well, unless I go swimming, that is, but that should be self-explanatory. So now we have actually taken damage, so that should be enough to... Yes! Armor's been increased. Let's see how close are we to it. Eh, not that close. I had hoped it would be closer. But never mind. Oh, which skill is closest now? Oh, blood is still closest. Good. Let's stick with the maze. So, world map. 
we should turn mostly south east. Well, that's the quest mark also suggests. Good, good, good. We cleared up a good bunch of stuff around here and we still have 20 minutes left in the episode. I am amazed. I haven't even cut anything or edited anything out. It's been a breeze. fly in the parts. That would be terrifying. Ugh. Ow. So nothing is really appearing on the map, which, I mean, it's no wonder. It's a hillside. Mountainside, if you're... Is this a path? No, it's just a valley, but very lush one of that. Fine. Dear, I have no beef with you. You provide me with venison, not beef. The jokes are of high quality, as always. In fact, well, uh, oh, I know what's wrong. I haven't made my current my recording coffee. Oh. Would you find now to just stop and brew some coffee? Ah, I can take one while I'm editing. There's a way shrine over there. It's fine. Okay, well, well since it's that like that, um. Obviously, the count is sort of like the big thing. I don't think I've actually ever visited my house here in uh, Skingrad. So, option no, priority number one is go and talk with uh, Cinderian. Because that's basically just handing in some known roots, getting a potion, and that's that. That's a fairly easy. Not only is it fairly easy achievable, it's also Hello. fairly easy completable. And obviously, it will give us a new task to find more learn route in a day. But eh, we can always return to it. He doesn't die until Skyrim. Spoiler alert. Well, I don't know. That eh, eh. would you say that uh, a nine-year-old game is spoilers at this point? I wouldn't. <laughs> so, what quest have we activated? Well, we were on the right tab, but buy a house, yes. So we are heading towards the trader. Is this the inn? It is. Well, that's close by. Uh, I don't think we will be getting anything of monetary we'll value help an old from beggar. So, well, we can at least get some money here from Selling the nut nuts and whatnot. Hello, good fellow. I am here to sell you some wheels and to buy some furniture. Hello. Gunder. Welcome to Colovian Tri Rubbers. I think Bernadette Panella. Yep. Nope. What can I interest you in? You're only an apprentice in Mercantile? Well, huh, gotta pump that up. Okay, let's see, do you have anything that I... I'm that blah, blah, blah. Yes, you will have the, the furnishing, but not yet. Let's sell stuff first. E well, I did get paralyzed just then, but I really don't need this. A good price for a good customer. Uh, I'm not gonna sell that. That, that, that is actually useful. That is, that is useful too. But not gonna do that. So you see how he has. Um... Ooh. Come on, soldier. Yes. Yes. 
Any of them empty? Yes. You drive a hard bargain. Yes, that's the idea. Down in that. Ooh, milestones. You've made a good bit of gold. Oh, that seems a fair. That's a good deal. That's a fair deal. Eight silver nuggets. That seems a fair price. It's not a lot of money. Uh, yes, I think we've sold all that we can sell. So, let's go down... What was that? Vest of the bar. Doesn't provide any armor. I suppose that's not usually for a bar. Children of the Sky. House balcony. Okay, let's see. House den area. Ah, Qu servants' quarters. David. So none of these say storage, which kind of concerns me. Uh, let's go for bedroom. Yes. A fine bargain for you. Uh, so. Wall hangings, that's mm, less usual. I'd be interested to see a the fine one that is. bargain for kitchen area. For you. Don't know what the deal is, we'll take it. A fine I bargain for, for you. I let that go. A bargain at any price. Let's just push it up a bit. Yeah. You bought that for a song. You can buy an one. excellent deal. An excellent deal. Pleasure doing business with you. A pleasure to serve you. Good day. So, oh, I've now bought everything Gunda has for my house in Skinga. Well, that's. Ugh. Mm. What do we have? About 15 minutes left. Yeah, roughly. Hmm. So Centurion won't take long. And he's right around the corner. And I don't remember where my house and skin rent is. So let's go to Centurion first. Then we can look at the local map and see if we can't find our house. I mean, it's the biggest one you can get in the Elder School for Oblivion. As I'm aware. Yes. That one is a very useful tip. Early on, when you're starting off picking off random loot. Okay, Sidirian is in the basement. He has a permanent stay at the West Wheeled Inn. Hail, Mog Gromogog runs a fine establishment at the You're Two Sisters' being, uh... Lodge, and her sister has some quite Hi. Whole... Well, uh, rumors. They say there are a bunch of people holed up in Summit Mist Manor, locked in, some kind of weird party or something. Uh, okay. The Two Sisters is a fine place, and the Two Sisters. The... There you are. What? Hey, good to see you again. Uh, elixir of exploration. As promised, I have your moderate elixir of exploration. Use it well. I have more available for a great price if you'd like. I found 30 more of the, of the nerd. I should return to Zendarian in Skingrad so he can begin creating a strong version of the elixir of exploration from him. Hey, you're truly a master explorer. To imagine you've actually acquired 30 more that. samples, I'm astounded. As I'm sure you guessed, to make the grand version of the Elixir of Exploration, we'll take still more samples of Nernroot. 40 to be exact. Good luck. Oh, and as before, you can pick up your free Elixir in 24 hours. 
How many do I actually have? That definitely, well, did something to my inventory, not much. Because, well, it's a root, it's not like, it's not like 30 swords. Who carried around 30, th 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 who carry around 30 swords? So let's see, no, 35, I am 5 short. It's actually closer than I thought I was, I thought I had just above, um... Greetings to you. Okay, let's see, local map, that is this way, yes, and... I forget that I can't zoom. No! Oh, well that's good. Good, good afternoon. Good news. Well, okay, okay, okay. Let's find our home. I think it was called Rose Thorn Hall or something like that. Mm, we shall see, we shall see. Ugh. Okay, Hello. local map. Now, that is not the local map. Okay. Summit Miss Manor. That was what we just heard about. Tochius Sixtius. Skin Guard Town Barracks. Rose Thorn Hall. Okay. Well, I was close. But both in terms of location wise, but also in terms of where the. what the name was. Who will help an old beggar? The... my house. Yes! Okay, let's see, take a look around. So this is a big one. Well, at least from the outside. Ooh, cozy. Okay, we got storage area. A dim lighting. Might want to turn up the candles on that one a bit. Okay. Uh, it's time to pilfer. There's a pantry. That is where we can go. So really, brothers? Well, that's no wonder, really. This is the skin guard, after all. Display cases. Nice. I did not mean to open the display case, but, well, I did. I wonder how I'm actually going to use them. Pocket, yes. Ooh. Needs a key. What? Oh, that's the balcony. I was like, why is that door locked? It's weird. Why is the loading time to get out on the balcony taking this long? Is there even room to move about up here? Eh, yeah, well, that's, that's actually not that bad. It's kind of bland, but... What do you mean, yeah? Oh, so that's what Chameleon does. Chameleon is essentially... You're invisible, but you can still do things. Where to invisible means that you're completely invisible, but you cannot interact with anything or the invisibility breaks. Okay. Good. Top floor. Oh, well, this looks nice. What is that book? A, a gummy in a cup. Not a skip. Doesn't have to be, but I just like to check. Just in case. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Why would you have a hand scythe for a pickaxe by your bed? I like to go mining when I'm sleepwalking. What? So, is that... I mean, yes, this does seem like a... close to a ceiling, kind of. Well, this is 
is definitely a pleasant one. Okay. So, we want to store some items. Uh, Grand Ring of Shadows. Yeah, sure, why not? And the Necklace of Swords. Still can't do anything with that. Uh, fortify health, fortify fatigue, night. I have 300 seconds. Not, not bad, but not particularly great either. Uh, oh yes, I want to be lugging this around. Go. Uh, right. Hmm. Well, it is a lovely place. Sure. Wait, there's uh, th three doors here. What? Top floor basement. Oh, I haven't been to the basement yet. Ooh. Where would the basement be? Ah, there. Yeah. Nearly as fancy, but then again, it's a basement. Didn't expect it to be exactly a. Uh... Oh, that must be the servants' quarters. But I don't have any servants. Damn it! Uh, uh, note. Remove the top first, reach inside, check out all the parts, being careful to note their order. Put the carving onto the rod, reinsert the rod into the cavity, replace the parts in order you remove them, seal the top with pine tar. What? Um. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I might have to look this up. So why is there a... No, I don't want to store it. I want to read it. Wait. How's the call? Um, what? What's it doing down here? I have never been in this basement before and yet I am finding storage items from... Ooh! What? I definitely... What? My house is haunted! This is weird. Okay, uh, very well. That was a weird end to an episode, but um, yeah, I feel like we've done quite a decent amount. That's a nice study area. And in doing so, we've definitely also gained some knowledge and some skills that we didn't have before. So, in the next episode, I will meet you near the couch. Oh, actually, I will meet you so here in Skingrad once more, as something is weird, and I want to look up. And also, I am kind of want to, interested in to see if there should be someone who could be a servant. Now that I have a servant's quarters, I kind of want someone to look after my house. So that's for next episode, but until then, take care.